Right, this is a bit uh, deja vu. I first shot this sequence yesterday on a, a cheap camera I had, and um, when I watched the footage back, it was it was terrible. The audio was out of sync, and it sounded like there was a million gerbils chirping away in the background. Um, I thought I was having a flashback to all those magic mushrooms from the 1980s, but then I just put it down to it being. You know, I was using a good ca good microphone, so I just put it down to being a cheap camera. Or was it? Anyway, back to the subject of this video. Wood. Most men have it. But what do you do with it? I like to prepare mine very carefully and then stick it in. To the wood stove. I don't know what you were thinking about. Anyway. Uh, we get free wood dropped at the end of the uh, driveway a lot of the time and um, sometimes this comes in the form of pallets and those pallets need to be broken down. Now there's various ways you can do this. I use a handheld circular saw, uh, my bow saw and then eventually my chop saw to cut it up to small pieces just to go in the stove. But sometimes if it's possible I like to break the pallet up. It just makes it easier to uh, prepare the wood you know, ready for the stove. And to do this, you need something called a pallet breaker or a pallet buster. Um, it just makes the job a lot easier. Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, pallet buster or pallet breaker. It's also known as a demolition wrecking bar. And they're quite, you know, not too expensive. I think this was just under 30 quid off eBay. It's really solid, good piece of kit. Uh, it makes the job a lot easier. My girl Jill likes to use this to prize me out of bed in the mornings. Terrible. Anyway, let's have some fun. Let's go and cut up a pallet. I'll be doing a few of these while I'm out here this afternoon. This looks like a nice one. Okay, so uh, just hook it underneath the edge of the pallet there and rock it backwards. There you go. Let's pop that slat and then that one's popped as well and just work your way along the pallet just breaking the slats off whoops get back under that one there there we go like I say just work your way down the pallet I like to do this if I can. You like say on the heavy duty pallets, you're not going to be able to do this. You're going to just give yourself a hernia. But uh, it just makes it easier for processing it for firewood. Like I say, let's work your way along. Some of them pop off quite easy. It does require a little bit of effort, but... Good bit of exercise, I suppose. There we go. That'll just make it easier for when I want to break this up for firewood, like I say. I'll just try the other side now. There we go. That one was easy enough, wasn't it? The nails, I'll just bang them down. So just rock it back and uh, the slats pop off. Nice and easy to do. It's a bit more difficult towards the end. Whoop! When there's less things to stand on. So there you go. That's the pallet completely broken down. Now I'll just stack all this away over by the woodshed, ready to be cut up. I 
And to do that I'll use a, excuse me, handheld circular saw or uh, the chop saw. I'll cut these down into short planks and then I'll use the hatchet just to break them down into small strips just so they'll fit in the stove and burn better. There you go, job well done. It's got to be time for the brew now. Yeah, so there you go, a pallet buster or pallet breaker. The one I've got, uh, the brand is Roughneck and it's a really heavy duty piece of gear. Um, I'm glad I got one, it's, it makes breaking up a pallet a lot easier. The company here, um, it costs them money to get rid of the pallets, so they'll gladly drop them at the end of the drive for me free of charge. And yeah, I'll have them, cut them up, stick them in the stove and keep warm. Mm -hmm.